What's up guys, CL Liquid here, back with another video. Today I'm going to do a video on the AutoVox X1 versus AutoVox X2 to see if there's really any difference between the two. I was looking online to buy a new dash cam and I was looking for one that has a rear view option for backup camera as well as recording from the rear view and the one I had was fine. It, was still going and kicking. It was a little budget model. I don't even remember what brand it is, but I did a, one of my videos is of that one, one of my earlier videos. But anyway, that one's still kicking, but I just wanted one that was a little better. And then I seen they had some that have um, the camera integrated into the uh, rear view mirror. So I said, oh, that looks pretty cool. So I started looking around, came across this AutoVox brand. They seem to got uh, pretty good reviews from what I've seen on a couple of their models and then I saw this one which seems to be one of their higher line models or two of the higher line models which is the uh, AutoVox X1 and then I just have to come across a review on YouTube of someone um, I don't remember the YouTubers name but he I believe he's probably from like the UK or somewhere, just judging by his accent. But he was reviewing an AutoVox X2. So I said, okay, well, I'll check that out. So I found it on Amazon. There wasn't really any reviews for it at the time. I think there's only like five reviews for it now. But uh, turns out it was like $10 more than the X1. So I was like, okay, well, what's the difference? So I started researching, looking around, couldn't find anything that was really different about the two other than, uh, as you can see from these booklets, the X1 has like a silver or grayish accent and the X2 has just straight matte black. Um, they both have the same exact features uh, from everything I read and there were really no reviews comparing the two there were you know a couple of reviews of each one separately but only one review of the X2 but that person didn't mention the difference between the X1 and the X2 so I figured okay uh, there's got to be other people out there who are wanting to know this information as much as I do so I went ahead and bought both of them and I got the X2 in first, which is the one I installed in my car, which um, I'll cut to that shortly and show you my installation and we'll do kind of a walk through that and show you the features and compare those. But for now, I was gonna jump in. Here you see the boxes in front of you. Obviously the boxes are exactly the same other than one says X1 and one says X2. Um, really nothing different on any of the sides they're all pretty much the same I mean you have a little different here on the barcodes obviously one says X1 and one says X2 but other than that exact same boxes um, the booklets are pretty much the same except for the covers they both have 22 pages and trust me when I say, sorry about that, trust me when I say they have the same things throughout the booklet. So I'm not going to go through each page and compare both booklets, but you get the idea. Um, like I said, I already installed the X2 in my car, so this one has all the stuff taken out of it because that's the one that I used that I received first. So I'll put that one to the side and I'll show you what came with it because they both came with the exact same thing other than the units of course so inside you get this and then your unit is there which right now it's in the car I'll show you that here in just a little bit uh, and underneath you'll have your rubber bands which attach it to your current car mirror or your stock car mirror and you'll have two that are normal bands and then you'll have two that are 
that's say 50% more stretchable for thick mirror. I just use the normal on mine. I have a HN Honda Civic, so I don't really need anything special that I need the extra length for. Um, here's your cable that runs to the AV on the unit and then runs to your rear camera that plugs in. I uh, can't remember the exact length, but I want to say somewhere between 25 and 28 feet. It was more than enough to run from my mirror up the um, headliner and down around underneath my doors and behind my seat and then still had a lot of slack left in the trunk after I connected everything. So once you drive like a big minivan or some really long SUV should be fine. Um, of course you have your cigarette lighter, your power for the unit. Uh, here's your camera, the rear view, and both the cameras are the same. For the X1 and X2. I actually took this little bracket piece off of mine. It unscrews here on the side, but you can mount this behind your uh, license plate and then this just kind of bends forward like that and then or you can have it bent that way and kind of stick it underneath however the back of your car is made I'm not sure as far as mine goes I just pretty much took this extra piece off and left it and glued it on and ran the wire I'll show you that later also. Get back in there. Sorry. Enough time here doing this. Alright. So, the last thing is your GPS connector, which has a sticky on the back to stick to your dash or window wherever you want to put yours. And you get your lint free wipe and of course they send you your complimentary fruit snacks for the kids obviously kidding please do not give these to your kids throw away do not eat not eat okay so that's pretty much it that like I said same thing came with the X2 everything was identical so let's cut out to the car and we'll take a look at them. All right guys, so here we are in the car. And this is the X1 I currently have installed. Uh, basically since the X2 and the X1, like I said, came with the exact same things. All I did was just undo the bands on the X2 and swap out the units, put the X1 on. Yesterday I drove around with the X2. Today I drove around with the X1, just seeing if I noticed any real differences. And to this point, I have not noticed a lot of difference. Um, like both units, like here's the X2. I have it running off of a, uh, external battery pack right now just so I can show you this on video and it's probably gonna be hard to pick most of this up there's gonna be reflections but do the best I can anyway um, so like I said you'll notice one is gray accent it's kind of a dark gray and because of the way the camera is probably showing them it's probably not gonna pick up too well but it's uh, more of a silver gray on the top unit there and then the, it's like a I guess it's more of a glossy black I thought it was like matte but it's more of a glossy black anyway um, the two units are exactly the same uh, the top unit you see it has a camera sticking out over here on the side and see if I can get that in the picture you see a camera sticking out over here on the side this one has the same thing it's basically just I don't know if I can get that to focus basically just slides out that way you can adjust it to fit your mirror better so it's centered on your mirror 
that they both have that same option. Um, focus back on that. And as far as the picture quality goes, I mean, honestly, I guess the only faint difference I can see is the X1, which is on top, seems to have a more colorful picture, whereas the X2 on the bottom has more of a, um, how do I put it, the picture isn't as vibrant, but I can see things a little, I guess a little brighter. Like the, I don't know if you can tell, the doorway that's over on the right side of the picture, it's more bright and you can see it a little better. There's less shadows, I guess is what I'm trying to say, than what it looks like on the X1. I mean, there, it's, uh, it's not really the angle or is one's lower than the other, it's just that even if I had them in the exact same thing, I've noticed, or the exact same angle, exact same height, it would still be the same thing. So I've noticed that, um, so I guess if you want a more vibrant picture, then the X1 would be to go with, but I would, I personally would prefer to have the clearer picture. I can't really show you the rear view on the X2 because obviously it's not connected to the camera right now but there's the rear view for the X1 um, the rear view camera is perfectly fine uh, it's 720p whereas the front camera is uh, what is it 12 1236p or 10 1080p I'll show you here in a second when I go into the settings. Anyway, um, yeah, the rear view camera is only 720, but as you can see, the picture is perfectly fine, perfectly clear, you know, nice picture. I usually keep it set to this mode right here where it's showing the rear view all the time when I'm driving. Um, it doesn't really distract me, and you know, after the first you know, day or so driving with it, uh, you don't really pay that much attention to it any more than you would your normal rear view mirror um, but yeah so yeah that's the only thing I've noticed that's really any different uh, if I turn these off you'll see they both have the exact same home screen there obviously I don't have the GPS unit or the um, rear view camera hooked up to this one that's why you're not seeing the miles per hour or the uh, compass on this one because the I don't have the GPS connected up on the uh, X2 here at the bottom but as you can see they're both recording they both have um, SD cards in them I just have a little 16 gigabyte card here in the X2 while I'm demonstrating this but I have a 64 gigabyte um, class 10 in the um, X1 there uh, all right, so if I turn both of these off, as you can see, you can see your reflection. There I am in both of them. Uh, the other thing I've noticed is the screen on the X2 here. Oops, it seems to be, um, it's got more of a bluish tint to it. So I don't know if it's like a different, technology of glass they use with this but it's I mean it actually I would say it's probably more reflective on the X2 because of whatever type of glass they've used on this one it the reflection is just a little bit better than on this one I mean I don't know if you can really see it there but if you can notice in the picture but you can see how the X2 seems a little bit better as far as reflections go than the X1. So there's got to be something to do with the glass and the, I'm guessing the camera technology or how it's, maybe it's just something they improved in the firmware for X2 that made the uh, camera seem a little brighter, take out the shadows versus the X1, but the X1 is running the latest firmware that I could find anyway. There were no firmware updates available when I was looking. 
and then the X2 is also running the latest firmware as far as I can tell or as far as I could find um, alright so let's jump into the settings real quick um, I don't want this video to be too long but as you can see um, stop that stop the recording <whistles> come on there we go so stop the recording you see you have uh, the icons are all the same you're locked for like for something uh, crash or something to lock the video right now it's not showing anything obviously because there's nothing that has happened um, have your camera take snapshot you can switch between front camera and rear camera oh let me focus this sorry this is gonna be kind of a janky video because I'm trying to do like two things at once here and it's not exactly the easiest thing to do one person filming here there we go alright so uh, yeah the settings you have the same icons here record and playback and then your settings icon there so we jump into the settings as you can see they both have storage I don't know if that's coming in on the video or not I apologize if it's not but doing the best I can Maybe I'll just bring this one closer since they're both the exact same thing it doesn't I don't think it really matters so they both have storage scroll down you have driving mode date and time resolution um, yeah 1296 or 1080p have loop recordings one minute two minute three minutes uh, G sensors so if something hits your car it'll start recording and then save that recording so if it's in parking mode and something hits your car it'll record or if you're in a crash it'll save the recording and like, there's your parking mode sensitivity you have low off and high just like with your G sensor low off and high uh, volume off medium and high LCD brightness manual and auto sound record which will record you know the interior of your car or surrounding sounds and then your parking lines you can turn those off or on those are for like when you're backing up it'll show the little parking lines uh, let me see if I can see it on do I have it turned on on here um, parking lines yes so parking lines are turned on so if I put my car in reverse you see those little lines there those are the parking lines just kind of guide you but I will probably keep those turned off because I don't really doesn't really help me any uh, GPS info uh, about DVR car DVR here you see this is a model X2 and of course this one is model X1 firmware on the X1 here is version 1.7.8 a version on the X2 here is 1.8.1 a so obviously two different models so you're gonna have two different software versions like I said I don't know if that's what the difference is in the camera view if they change something with the X2 to clear it up maybe that was a complaint that people had with the X1 so they cleared it up in the X2 don't know for sure like I, said, I couldn't find anything really about either of these as far as differences online um, and then the firmware AutoVox it doesn't really have anything for you to click on for the firmware um, website battery status and that is pretty much it as far as the settings go Yep, about DVR and then reset setup restore to default settings which I do not want to do right now and yeah they both have the exact same settings so I have no clue what the difference is between these two the accessories that came with them were the same both have the same options same look other than the accent colors 
Um, both take the same type of adapters. I really don't know. I could find nothing that is the difference between these two. If you find something, please, please leave me a message down in the comments and let me know what the difference is. Um, as far as me, I ran mine, if you can see, I can get this, as you can see up there, there's the, um, this goes to your AV, which is the rear camera connection, so I ran it up through the head board there, and then down to the sides, sorry, trying to operate this, ran it down the side there, and then of course, down by my door frame all the way down underneath the door panel and then around if I can show that here's the back round and up through my seats there the seats fold down so I just ran the cable up behind there into my trunk I'll try to show you here in a second the camera mounted outside but that was pretty much it and I put my GPS receiver right here on the window. This is the receiver from my remote car start, so I just stuck it right beside that. Um, they show in the instructions, people mount it, run it along the headboard, and then mounting it to their dashboard there in the front window, but I didn't really want to put it there and have it just kind of sticking out there. I just figured I already have a receiver up there, so why not just add it up there with the rest of them? Or with the other one rather not the rest of them but yeah I mean that's I don't know what else to say about them I mean they're pretty much identical other than those faint little things that I showed I mean and that could just be a factory thing where it's just slightly different image it may not even meant to be a different image or that it's a different CMOS camera or anything like that it could just been a difference in the cameras by accident but I do notice that the X2 is a little brighter even though the pictures aren't as vibrant as the X1 but I'm going to stick with the X2 um, it's ten dollars more but I don't know maybe I'm just being a uh, slave to the uh, model number <laughs> just because it's a higher number and it it feels like it's gonna be better when you get a higher model number it may not be uh, one other thing I noticed I should mention that as I'm sitting here it seems like the view is a little wider also on the uh, X2 because you can see in the X2 I noticed earlier that I can see the sides of the frames of my car over here on each side I can see the frames of the windows whereas I can't see that on the X1 here I mean, even if I tilt it down, I can't get really both into the same frame. Whereas on this one, you can clearly see them without even trying. So there may be a wider view or a wider angle camera on this one, even though it didn't say in the reviews that I was reading. Um, so I don't know. Honestly, I am at a loss, but I did my best to kind of show you guys what some differences might be. So let me pop the trunk here and we'll take a look outside at the rear view camera. So here's my trunk. What I did here was, I'm not gonna pull all this out, but basically like I said, the seats fold down. So I pulled those down and then pulled this side off here. It's my backup light there to get access to it. And there's a little bolt that you can unscrew here and here and I fold this down and basically attach that wire to my uh, positive of my backup light that way when you put your car in reverse it automatically kicks the camera into the rear view camera mode or backup camera I should say uh, and then I run the cable from up the side here zip tied it and just kind of ran it up underneath here I actually, there's bolts under here, or not bolts, but uh, little tabs, if you squeeze these, there's four of them, and then there's one bolt under here that took loose on the car, 
and as you can see it has a little accent piece here on my Honda and that whole accent piece comes off and I drilled a little hole underneath here I don't know if you can see that but I put my camera right there stuck it underneath of it and then underneath there you can't really tell good old Kentucky but underneath there there's a uh, little hole under the accent piece that I just drilled just a piece out where the screw could fit under there or not the screw but the um, cable could run under there and then drill the hole up behind this accent piece to run the camera wire through and connect it to the rear view um, camera attachment but there's the camera stuck there it's got industrial tape on it so it's not really going anywhere it's not even budging um, I went to the car wash earlier I actually have some video of that I'll probably throw that up also or you can watch that but I went through the car wash powerful jets and all that stuff and it didn't even budge or come loose it was actually pretty cool to be sitting in the car and the car is covered with suds and you can still see out the back but anyway that's pretty much it guys um, Obviously your installation is going to be just a little bit different than mine unless you have the same car as me. But other than that, I think I'm going to end this video. It's gotten pretty long. I've talked about all I could possibly talk about at this point. I hope it helps somebody decide. Um, at this point I'm saying just a few things I noticed were a little clearer picture, a little, maybe a little wider viewing angle, and the accent colors. One's gray and one's glossy black. Uh, like I said, if you find anything different, figure out what the differences are, or you hear something from the company, leave something in the comments, let me know. I'd like to know, even though I'm already going to stick with the X2 and the X1's going back. So, other than that, I um, guess I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.